Well, hey friends, and welcome to my channel. My name is Mandy, and this is Sweetly Home. We love to talk about all things heart and home here on my channel. And today we're gonna dive into a little bit of home stuff. So today I'd like to share with you my two week menu plan. Um, one of the things that I'm really working towards on this year is to make sure that I've got a good menu plan all the time. Um, last year I lived in a lot of survival mode and one of the things that really went out the win window was menu planning. Um, and I have jumped back into the groove of that um, and I honestly have just felt like it's been a safety net for me. I know the day before like what I'm making so I can pull out the food that needs to be from the freezer or I can prep something ahead. Um, I'm not frantic. <laughs> sometime during the day or like at the dinner hour wondering what we're having for dinner. Um, I did that way too much last year and um, I'm just looking forward to kind of getting life back on track. And I wanted to share with you my menu plan, but I also wanted to share with you a quick little look at my menu planner or meal planner, whichever you want to call it. So last year I actually bought this little tool right here. This is the Erin Condren meal planner. It's a petite planner that big that's what they call it a petite planner and inside is just filled with all kinds of goodness for meal planning um, I'm gonna take you through a quick little look through this I shared about it on my Instagram and a lot of you had a lot of questions about it so I thought I would just kind of briefly share with you what is in here and why I'm using it the big reason is y'all like seriously you could just use a notebook or you could just use a sheet of paper Listen, that is what I did for years. For years and years, I never had anything like this. But here's what tripped me up. I always wanted to keep those menus, and nine times out of 10, I did. But I never did anything with them. Um, there was a brief period of time where I made kind of, I was attempting to make a meal planner, and it just never followed through completely with it. But my goal was always to keep those menus so that I could look back and either have a jumping off point of what, you know, to for us to have for dinner or to actually just recycle those menu plans because once you've got them written down, like, y'all, you could just use them like in a month from now and not many people are gonna notice, at least not in my family. But forever, I would just not do anything with those pages and they just honestly ended up becoming a lot of clutter and I sometimes I'd write in one notebook um, and then I'd use another notebook and it just, it, the, nothing was in a cohesive spot. And for me, that's what this meal planner has become. It's a spot where I've got all of those menus. Um, I've got a spot in the back here for recipes. So there's some recipes that we make all the time, but. I don't have the brain space to remember all of the ingredients, all of the steps, all of the, you know, whatever it is to make that recipe. But there are things that I make often, often enough that I would want them at a moment's glance. And I can stick them in the back here in my meal planner. So I'm just gonna um, turn you around and share with you our two week menu plan. And then at the end, I will share more about the features of this if you are interested in something like this. It's $12 on the Erin Condren website. And for me, it was $12 really well spent. If you've never ordered from Erin Condren before, you can get a $10 off coupon. I'll leave my referral link down in the description box. If you use that, honestly, thank you so much because that means I get $10 off another order. And I honestly just find that these tools are really tactical and they really work for me and how I like to plan. So I really, I really appreciate um, if you use my referral link. So thank you. So essentially, if you've never ordered from them before, you can get this for two dollars plus shipping um so it's a great deal okay so let's turn around and let me share with you my meal plan okay so here's the menu planner and i'm going to open it up and share with you the two-week menu plan that i have and then i'll walk through the features of this planner if you hear something in the background um the dog is in here so Okay, so everything's broken down into breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I've got stuff written down for breakfast, I've got stuff written down for lunch, but it doesn't 
necessarily mean that I am going to go ahead and follow those things to the T. Um, they're just more of a jumping off point, an idea space to write down some ideas for breakfast and lunch. Um, a lot of times we just go off what we're feeling and the lunches specifically and the breakfast are mostly for myself because I am at this point doing Trim Healthy Mama and um, sometimes it just the standard breakfast of like eggs <laughs> gets really old so I'm trying to think of new breakfast ideas and this is just a good place to um, record them. I also wrote right down here in the margin um, when we got groceries so I can keep track of that and also um, if we have anything coming up during the week for instance on Friday we do movie night so I put that here on the side so that I know what we've got going on okay so also on the weekends usually typically Sunday we're at my in-laws house so I don't usually plan too much for that time it's also just a time for us to do leftovers um, sometimes I just really like to have popcorn on a Friday or Sunday night for dinner um, and we just keep it kind of low key like that okay so the weekend we have got off that Sunday so starting at Monday this is when we did get groceries I had eggs for breakfast I had um, some stew for lunch my father-in-law had um, brought stew over and then we did um, burgers and we made leftovers for my husband the kids had fries and I did a salad and then I always usually throw in like a fruit or a vegetable of some sort with all of these. I may not always record it, but um, there is either always a fruit or vegetable to kind of round out the meal completely. Tuesday, um, we were going to do um, the Busta Myth Banana Cake from Term Healthy Mama or Banana Bread. Um, for lunch, I have chicken avocado salad, which is a really delicious recipe that um, I'll li actually link in the description box because it was so good. And I was actually able to eat that a couple times this week. Um, we did Taco Tuesday, and so we had taco salad. The kiddos had tacos, and we had mango um, for a fruit. And the taco salad had lots of veggies, so um, I didn't serve it an additional vegetable side. We had like red peppers and onions and lettuce and tomatoes and just all the traditional taco fixings. Wednesday, I've been loving this peach oatmeal, um, and I can also leave a link for that in the description box below. Um, for lunch, turkey and cheese roll-ups, and for dinner... I did a lasagna stuffed chicken with broccoli and some, I call them bread sticks, but it's actually a crazy stick or crazy bread. Um, I've got a recipe for that here on my channel. It's a low carb sort of um, bread stick and they are delicious. Thursday, um, I thought it was eggs and kale and bacon. Um, lunch, uh, more of that chicken avocado salad. And then dinner, um, buffalo chicken salad, um, some of that leftover crazy bread, and a citrus mousse. And again, all of these are Trim Healthy Mama friendly. Um, I do have an asterisk here and a little note down at the bottom to prep this ahead. So for that, for the buffalo chicken, I just knew to pull the chicken out of the freezer ahead of time. So I make sure to consult this every day um, and kind of look at the following day to see what I need to do for the next day. So Friday, um, more eggs and kale and bacon. Um, I did leftover buffalo chicken salad um, for lunch. And then Friday, we did pizza casserole. And I was going to make the kids tortilla pizzas, but they ended up actually just really loving this pizza casserole. And it was a low-carb recipe. It was so good. Um, Saturday, Trim Healthy Mama pancakes with Greek yogurt. We'll do um, leftovers for lunch. And then dinner would be a butternut squash soup and sprouted bread and chicken as protein. Over here is a shopping list of anything that we needed to get and also a meal prep strategy. So I had everything written out that I needed to do um, for food prep for the week. So the next week, um, I have it. We were not home for the weekend, um, and then we did, uh, so Monday we'll do um, peach oatmeal, and I want to remind myself to add some sunflower leth lethicin into the oatmeal. It's good lethicin. Less sunflower leth lethicin, oh my gosh, what a tongue tw twister, is really good for um, brain health. Um, so lunch, a sandwich, pickles, an apple, and an orange. Um, for dinner, pork chops. Um, and I have a note to pull that from the freezer. Um, a ca cauliflower and broccoli au gratin, um, applesauce and beans. 
So Tuesday for breakfast, peach oatmeal, and again, a note to remember that sunflower lecithin, and um, I just sort of had said to do, continue with the sandwich idea throughout um, the week. For dinner, sheet pan fajitas, mango, and corn and peppers for sides. Wednesday, toast with egg whites, kale, and ham. Um, and then lunch was the same thing throughout the week. Um, dinner would, is a recipe called Bangin' Ranch Chicken. That's a Trim Healthy Mama recipe. And then we would do the au gratin um, as a leftover side. Thursday, eggs and bacon for breakfast. For lunch, we'll do a Southwest Southwest chop up salad. This is a Trim Healthy Mama recipe in their cookbook and there's an avocado cream dressing to make with that. Um, for dinner we're going to actually do a twist on like a low carb um, tuna noodle casserole but there's no noodles. Um, it's really good uh, and more of that ogre tan. So my husband is away for um, these next couple weeks so any of these sides that I make or meals um, they're going to feed us for several days. So that ogre tan will just be a side for a couple of days here um, for dinner. Friday night is movie night. Um, and so we've got ricotta shells uh, with broccoli and applesauce. And I will use Dreamfield's noodles for the ricotta shells. And for lunch will be leftovers. And on um, Friday morning, we're going to do Trim Healthy Mama pancakes. And Saturday um, is a recipe from a Trim Healthy Mama cookbook. It's on page 267, and it's the Chocolate Monkey Crepes. And then we'll do leftovers for lunch. And dinner will be chicken, sweet potatoes, and peas. And again, I have my meal prep strategy here, the things to make ahead, and a reminder to myself to make the menu plan for the next week. So that was a look at so that was a look at my two week menu plan. I did want to go ahead and share with you what is in this planner. I've had a lot of questions because I posted this on Instagram. So I thought I would just share with you what is inside and the features of the planner. Um, so you have a place to write where who the, belook, the book belongs to. And then inside you have got your places to put your, um, your menus. Here I was just kind of toying with everything and trying to figure out how it was going to function best for me. So I played with a few weeks um, and I like how I have since come to do everything with the different colors. I used Papermate flares for this and these stickers are actually stickers that come with the planner and I'll show you those. So you've got several weeks of menu plans. Um, so you get your breakfast, lunch, and dinner and throughout the whole week. I love the colors on the side. It makes it just super fun. You've got a shopping list area and you've got an area here to write the date so you can keep track of what week you're on. And then you've got your area for your meal prep strategy and I love that they've included this in this planner. So you get lots and lots of weeks. I'm not entirely sure how many weeks there are, um, but there's quite a few. So then we come to the dinner party meal plan. So in this area, you can write down your drinks, your appetizers, your main dishes, side dishes, and desserts for whatever um, dinner party or you know holiday meal or whatever you're doing um, that's a special function. And then you've got an area down here where you can write down the guests who are coming, any special requests that they have, um, any allergies, and if they are bringing anything to the meal. So I, I think that's just so great. Over here is also a shopping list and you've got an area for your date and then you've got a spot for a cooking schedule. So if you've ever had to prepare a meal for people, um, a cooking schedule is so important. So there are several of those um, dinner party meal plan pages. And then we've got a price tracker. Now this is something I'm going to really start utilizing because I really want to make sure I'm getting the best bang for my buck, especially if I'm only going to, into the grocery store a couple of times a month. And there are certain staples that we get that I want to make sure that I'm just really getting a great price for. Um, I also want to compare things like meat and, um, you know, again, just some of those staples that we always use. And then I can see when a particular item that we always get is on a rock bottom price, I can stock up on it and then we have it. So the price tracker has a spot for the date, the item, the store, the size, the price, and the unit price as well. 
And next you've got some pages for recipes. So there are a few particular recipes that I make all the time, but I don't have the brain space to remember all of the ingredients and all of the instructions. So for instance, I started to write our granola bars. Um, and so that's a recipe that I go to all of the time. So I like that there are a few pages for your recipes. And then in the very back, there's a conversion chart. So you've got your teaspoon, tablespoon, fluid ounces, cup, pint, quart, and gallon, and then your ounces and into pounds. So you can kind of um, check those things out here. And down below, there's also um, when your recipe calls for, for instance, two eight inch round cake pans, that's eight cups of cake batter. And then that's equivalent to one eight by eight square pan, one nine by five, loaf pan and 12 to 18 standard cup cakes. So it has several different um, things that a recipe calls for, how many cups of batter that would be, and the equivalent. So if you don't have round cake pans, I don't have round cake pans, I know that I can use 12 to 18 cupcakes and I certainly have muffin pans that I could make those with. So anyways, I think that's really handy as well. And then a reminder on the page, don't forget you've got this. I mean, meal planning can be such a drain sometimes and I need all the reminders that I got this as I can get. In the back is this cute little pocket folder so you could stick recipe cards in here or um, any of your um, recipes that maybe didn't fit in your recipe log, things that you go to all of the time. They also include this sticker sheet which is just so cute. Um, there's all kinds of fun fun stickers on here and there are some of these gold foil ones um so love it big hit prep ahead dining out and just you know really cute little stickers and it just i don't know it makes the the process of um, meal planning fun that is my erin conjure and petite planner meal planner well thank you guys so much for watching this video thanks for hanging out with me today and talking all things meal planning, menu planning, and homemaker stuff. I hope you guys are having a really good day. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.